How's it going everyone? Today we're just going to be looking at a piece from one of the most far left anti-white rags in the world. That is The Guardian, specifically The Guardian Australian edition for this one, written by an academic that presides in Melbourne and he is very upset that white people are now finally standing up and speaking out against their own ethnic replacement and he has this to say about it. Fears of white decline show how a minor debt to domination can be catastrophic for some. There you go. The title right off the bat just instantly dismisses all concerns, all facts, all evidence about our own ethnic replacement as just us fearing losing our domination. I think there's a little bit of projection there, if you ask me. So let's get right into the article. If you haven't already, please subscribe to Matty Rose Live and tune in to my weekly live stream with editor of the XYZ, David Hiscox, where we discuss all the biggest news of the week. We go live every Monday at about 9.15 Australian Eastern Time. Can't wait to see you there. Link in the description. Whether conceptualised intellectually as the great replacement, in quotes, or white shift, in quotes, in books by right-wing thinkers, or in a less articulate way on the internet as the fear of an invasion by Muslim refugees or through the development of a more apocalyptic imaginary of white decline, as in the manifesto of Christchurch's white ethno-nationalist mass murderer, there is an increasingly available literature portraying people of white European origins as being in a state of decline, as about to suffer a total reversal of circumstances and become dominated by the very people who have long themselves been dominated by Europe. So instantly, he just dismisses the concerns as mere fantasies of people worried about simply being dominated by groups that Europeans supposedly dominated in the past. In other words, he's telling us Europeans to sit down and shut up and just take our replacement. It's not that our birth rates are much lower than other groups. It's not like we're importing people of other ethnicities and other races into our lands who have much higher birth rates than us. It's that we're just worried that we might not be able to dominate people going forward into the future. In other words, he's completely dismissed all the facts and all the concerns and ignored everything that people are actually saying and then inserting his own accusations within that. It's actually a projection. What's really happening here is that he, as a member of the left-wing ruling class, is worried that the left-wing ruling class are actually losing control. They're soon not going to be able to dominate societies any further, and now they're trying to lash out and silence anyone who challenges that. The people that challenge that the most are the people who are discussing white demographic replacement and advocating for white people. He's clearly very worried about that. Unlike what some think, this is hardly a new phenomenon. It is actually the case that a feeling of being besieged by the very people whom one is actually colonising is paradoxically part and parcel of the history of European colonialism. Images of Asian, Indigenous people, Arabs and black people dominating, exploiting and enslaving white Europeans abound throughout the history of colonialism. Which is interesting because... Whites have actually been taken as slaves for thousands of years. It was whites who ultimately ended the institution of slavery. It was also whites who, in about the middle of the 19th century, said, wait a minute, it's probably not a good idea or right to go and just conquer other countries. Sure, there are members of the ruling class who still do that, but it was European countries who said, no, that's probably not a good idea. Up until that point, it was basically universal that different groups would attack, conquer, and kill other groups. So it was actually whites that stopped that. 
And also, the belittling here of people who have genuine concerns. As in, oh, don't worry, that's just the way Europeans always are. They're just worried that other people are just going to colonise them the way they colonise other people. Pfft, don't even worry about it, silly European people. That's essentially what he's saying. It's just nuts. It's actually pure anti-white bigotry. But we'll keep going here. It is helpful to note today, in the era of climate change, the era of climate change, climate's always changed, that the fantasies of reversal that are part and parcel of the history of colonialism have also been part and parcel of the history of domesticating nature. Here too, we have a long history of fearing that the nature that we humans have domesticated and exploited in a quasi-colonial way will rise against us and domesticate us in turn. Notice the repeated use of the term part and parcel, almost like he's channeling someone. What I do know is part and parcel of uh, living in a uh, great global city is you've got to be prepared for these things. I, I don't know who, who he's channeling here. Could be someone else, maybe potentially someone who was also belittling a real concern. Who knows? But again, have a look at the way he just dismisses it as, oh, don't worry, that's just part and parcel of European people or people just complaining that what they once controlled, they're not controlling anymore. Oh, don't worry about it. They might have real concerns, but eh, don't worry about it. That's just part and parcel of being a human who's no longer dominating, as he so claims. Humans who cannot see themselves other than in a relation of domination with the natural world and whites who, despite their protestations of being anything but racist, find it hard to be anything but a dominant colonial position vis-a-vis -vis non-white people. Which is interesting because I don't know any white advocates right now, or well, none that I interact with, who are promoting any kind of colonization. All we want is for our own countries. We want to be left alone. We want to be able to live with our own culture, our own people, within our own territories, under our own laws, without being invaded by people who are not us, essentially. So him saying that, oh, it's just us white people just complaining that we're no longer dominating is pure anti-white bigotry. It is an utter insult to the sacrifices of our ancestors who built these great nations. Not just Europe, but the nations we built in the Americas, in Australia, New Zealand. The entire world has benefited from white European culture. The idea that we now should just sit back and just cop our own ethnic replacement on the chin because, ah, oh, they just always complain about that, is beyond belittling. It's purely dehumanization of the white race. It's actually disgusting bigotry from this guy. I don't know how The Guardian printed it. Oh wait, I know how The Guardian printed it. The Guardian are also very anti-white. But anyway, it is only for such people that even a minor dent to the fantasy of domination that sustains them ends up being imagined as a catastrophic threat of disintegration. Isn't it ironic here that what we're actually seeing in the world right now is a reversal of the narrative? So the leftist globalist parasitic establishment has dominated the narrative and dominated the world for about the last 50 years, since probably the late 60s, early 70s, that time. Now people are starting to stand up and see the truth for what it is and speak out about what they're actually seeing, this represents a real challenge to the dominant parasitic establishment of which Mr. Ghassan Hajay, I think that's how you pronounce it, is a part. So where he's calling out whites as saying, oh, it's just Europeans complaining that they're now the ones being colonialized, whereas they're the evil colonializers traditionally, which is just a load of rubbish. An absolute lie, a flat out warping of historical fact. Where he's com he's saying that's what white people are doing. It's actually him who is complaining that there is a new narrative emerging. There are people now standing up to the domination of his class, of his narrative. 
He's been dominating us. The leftist establishment have been dominating us and silencing us and telling us that we're racist simply for saying it's okay to be white and please leave us alone. These are our countries that our ancestors built. We have a right to keep them homogenous. That is our right. And we have the right to defend them when they are being flooded with foreigners. That is our God-given right. Some people argue it's our only right to defend what's ours. But, as with all things that you get from the left, this is nothing but utterly disgraceful anti-white bigotry and projection. Hope you enjoyed the video, share the truth around, and I'll see ya when I see ya.